Your concern, the more I thought about it, is incredibly valid, which is? So we were having this discussion when we were talking about this advance, and my concern is that I think this is a great advancement in an acute situation when someone has alcohol poisoning. It's going to give them those enzymes they need to break alcohol down really safely back into carbon dioxide and water. But my concern about a prescription like this or medicine like this being maybe a little too readily available is that I think it's going to give people a false sense of security that they can drink with reckless abandon. There'll be no oh, repercussions. Especially Possible. Uh, younger, exactly, and younger people, uh, college setting, etc. I mean, yeah. everywhere, but especially there, where you're more likely to really binge drink yeah. and. And, and we know that alcohol-related deaths are at an epidemic proportion in this country. There were 88,000 per year between 2006 and 2010. And so if we give people a get-out-of-jail-free card where you can drink all you want and have terrible judgment and get into that accident, but you won't feel lousy the next but the, day, but this is where I, I, I get a little bit worried about that. But this that. is where I disagree with you because most alcohol deaths truly from alcohol, and I'm not talking about deaths from driving while intoxicated, making bad decisions. I'm talking about whether it be cancers fueled by alcohol, liver disease, those individuals are alcoholics. And that is a very different entity than someone who's at a party debating whether to have two or three drinks. I do not think this has any place for that individual, but there are a lot of people out there struggling with alcohol. And if something like this can acutely lower the levels of alcohol in the body, can take stress off of their liver while they're potentially going through treatment or trying to get off of alcohol. I think this holds promise for them. I think this sure. could lower that death rate. I think that, the yeah, the concern is that, I'll use the phrase, the soccer mom or dad is, is sitting there thinking, well, you know what, game's over. I'm gonna bring my six pack of beer and just pop my pill and then drive everyone home. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's, that's scary, the thought here. It's right? like, wait a minute, that's if I drink scary. if I drink four beers instead of two, but I pop this pill that may lower, let's just let's just do it. That's that is a concern well, of mine. But I think yeah. this, I actually believe that for alcoholics or people who abuse alcohol, they're not sitting there thinking, well, you know, I'm gonna not drink another drink because I have an important meeting in the morning. They're taking the next drink, no matter what. They, they, yep. That is what addiction is. And if there's something to help temper that, like you mentioned well, Narcan for mentioned Narcan. overdose, well, I think in some cases. And I'm gonna take sure. a different position. I'm the senior surgeon up here, so I don't metabolize as quickly as I used to. So if I'm working the next day, no, I'm probably not gonna have any drinks, but let's say, you know, I don't want to miss a certain situation, I do want to have a drink. Well, if something like this was available that would ensure that I would feel good the next day, I, I think there's benefit to that. I think, I think though, I liked your analogy to Narcan, where in a more acute situation or maybe in people who are in addictive situations, it may have some benefit. I just always wonder about the slippery slope. I agree with you. Your liver's metabolism of alcohol does decrease mm -hmm. with time, and we know you get more of those toxic byproducts like acetaldehyde that make you feel lousy. But I just, I worry about giving people license to, to drink even more. I mean, when there's so many poor judgment, accident-related injuries and deaths in this country I'm picturing already. a just, city like Las a, Vegas, a, yeah. and you're right. I'm picturing a city it's, like it's Las a, Vegas where on a oh, street corner, there is, there is a clinic with IVs and this concoction, and yeah. everyone's rolling in straight from the casinos at 6 a.m. Fill me up, Doc. Let's roll. Just, look, this isn't ready for prime time. We don't no. even know. Th these studies were done on mice. We don't even know if this will even work in humans, but we'll keep everyone posted.